You know, obviously the end of the season is always a difficult time for not only you as a coach, you know, but for all the players. <laughs> but um, I'm extremely proud of the way we competed today. We got down early, um, found a way to not only get back in it, but take the lead into the ninth inning. And you know, programs like Nebraska and some of the bigger, the bigger ones in the country, you know, they have they have the players and um, they find ways to get things done. And that's what happened in the end today. But you know, not to be overshadowed is the run that this program has been on for the past, you know, nine or ten days, beginning at the American East Championship and you know the run we made there, and then coming in here and, and maybe you know a little lackluster last night. But uh, I thought the effort today was outstanding. You know. Largely in part the two guys sitting next to me here, and um, you know, despite the loss, I couldn't be more proud of them. What was there any hit when you know you were going to get the start, and how did you prepare yourself for that? Found out the other day in the airport. Uh, I had a pretty good idea after last weekend. You know, uh, Jack Regala went down. It was a tough loss losing him uh, to injury, so we knew he couldn't go. So I figured I'd have to step up and just give it my all out there. How much were you pleading your case to to finish the thing out in the ninth? Coach, uh, Coach had a lot of trust in me. Uh, he looked at me. He said, "You know, it doesn't look like anything's, you know, you know, depleting." He's like, "Do you still feel good?" I said, "Yeah, Coach. I want the ball." So he let me go out there for a shot at it. What? How did you sort of regroup after that first inning? They, they found some holes. Um, it's a singles there, but then it sort of seemed like a lot came after that. Yeah, I know. Uh, we've been playing all year. Like uh, it's a nine-inning ball game. So I know I never count my team out. And. Uh, I figure if I just keep pitching my game, you know, maybe some of the balls will start bouncing our way. What is your game? I, uh, I like to mix it up a lot. You know, just my goal is just to pound the, pound the zone and uh, keep them off balance with change ups and maybe a couple sliders, you know. So if I can keep them, uh, keep them off balance with the change ups, that really helps me attack my fastball. Honestly, in that moment, uh, I was obviously trying to get the run in. Uh, I, I think my last three at bats before this tournament, I failed to get guys in the America East tournament, and uh, it's really been weighing heavy on me. So, I mean, any big opportunity I had today, I, I just tried to capitalize, and luckily I was able to. You kind of saw it facing your way going into school, right? In the left field. Yeah, the uh, coach Erstad had their players playing pretty in on me at the corners. So honestly, if, if I could just shoot anything to the left side, I knew it was going to get through. So um, I wouldn't say I was trying to do that, but it definitely worked out that way. Their number 57 version of the last pitcher they had affected the last three innings. What did you see from him? I mean, what, why, how was he able to shut you guys down? He's a good pitcher. He mixes change up very well and uh, threw it in some counts that you wouldn't expect to see that pitch. And uh, you know, he's just a, a solid guy to the pen. You know, in the America East, we don't necessarily see too many um, big time arms out of the pen. We see a lot of great starters, but uh, you know, it, it's different facing a great pitcher every single one of the nine innings. Um, so, you know, that happens sometimes. A guy shuts us down. I couldn't ask for anything more out of Greg. Uh, what an unbelievable uh, end of the season for him. Uh, if he hadn't pitched the nine-inning game versus Hartford in the American East Tournament, we wouldn't be here in the first place. So I, I can't give enough gratitude to him for how much he's done for this program and carrying us seniors out on a high note. When you guys, when you guys see Nebraska play a sort of reliever out there, presumably it's their, their Saturday and Sunday on for later on in the tournament, how do you take that? Is that a bulletin board thing, disrespect? I mean, do you just kind of go with it or what? Honestly, we just kind of go with it. Um, we know as a four seed, we're not necessarily going to get a ton of respect in general. Um, but we know we're a good program. We know anybody who's on that mound, we can hit. And we had a lot of confidence going into today. We fell a little bit short, but, um, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. It's baseball.
think it, it, it speaks to the type of young men we have in this program, you know, led by the senior group with, with Billy and, and um, you know, Sean McGraw, John Howell, and Danny Navaris. Those guys have been through a lot for us, and they've played a lot of innings for us. Um, I just think their leadership um, and the way that they uh, help prepare the younger players for, you know, a long, what's a long season. And that long season begins back in September with fall baseball and carries through the winter months. And, you know, we find a way to balance that and, uh, and try to peak at the right time. And, and again, you got to have great internal leadership from your players in order to be able to get that message across and, and have the younger kids understand. And, you know, Billy and his fellow classmates have done a great job not only through their entire four-year career here, but uh, in particular this year with all the adversity we've been through with some injuries. So um, hats off to those guys for finding a way to, to deliver the message and get it through the younger guys and, and have the young, young guys kind of follow their lead.